and welcome everybody to Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cubed. Carlin Brothers Box Breakers. Today we're going to be unboxing an entire booster box from the Lost Origins Collection. This is going to be the start of season to our first new set that we get to dive into, and it has a lot of really cool cards, including the new mascot of the set, Giratina. Uh, actually quite a few different versions of the Giratina that you can pull. But There's the, like, like five. The ultimate chase card is the alt art Giratina, which is absolutely beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful, and I'll tell you what, we've pulled one in person. It's happened. I'm not sure if that makes our odds better or worse. Like, they've done it. They can do it again. We can do it again. We can do I, it you again. Know what? Forever. Forever. This will be a momentum-driven show. Yes. The better we're doing, the better we'll do. That's, that's how the lottery works. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. All right, let's get to it. We have pre-randomly selected today's common chase cards. They will be Horsey, Squavit, and Ambipom, but more importantly, Ben, it's time for the one, the only, Wheel of Energy. Yeah, now Lost Origin is great because there's not like a type that just doesn't exist like uh, last time with the electric type. So yes, okay. I think you guys are gonna do really well if we hit fighting in particular. There's a lot of fighting cards in here. So let's see what we get. With the spin, this week's type advantage will be Eyeball energy! We knew it was coming. Oh, that's we knew fantastic. this would have been great last month. It this would have been, been great last month. Eyeball energy will be our type advantage for the episode. All right. Well, I think we're uh, pretty much ready to start cracking some packs. Let's break a box. Ooh. Hey, you made it off screen. It went places this time. Well done. All right, brand new season, which means everyone's points have been reset back to zero. Our first pack of the season is going to Dakota Ballantyne. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. There's one that's like, it's like, it like wants to come out. Oh my gosh. Do you gosh. see it? Do you see it? I'll oblige. That's for you, Dakota. This that's is for, for Dakota. You. Can we kick off the season with something truly epic? Does it seem like going first gives you like a bad chance here? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's I know see that Dakota here. hasn't had a, a massive pull yet. It does. I mean, all the more reason to finally get one right here with the dark energy. Oh. Why it helped you last time. The Gloom, Luminion, Mirage Gate. Very competitive card. Poliwag, Oddish. No chase cards yet. And the Chandelure. It's a 16 cent card with the Chandelure. Which and there were no, no eyeball Pokemon in this one either. Oh. So no extra points for our type advantage. All right, good job, Dakota. Way to get on the board. Way to kick things off. Then you've got Brant Klassen. All right, Brant. I love getting into a new box because you get to see some of the artwork for the first time. Right? Oh, oh no energy not at even all. an opportunity because we got the V-Star the in there. V-Star. I love that Machop. That's I know. Beautiful. Oh, it's a cute Pikachu, Look at too. That guy. Does he got like a little like peach or, got a little berry. or something? Yeah. yeah. It reminds me of a runt. <laughs> yeah, Jinx. the pink runts. Yes. I know. So, do, did you like the banana runs? I liked the banana runs. You ready? This guy, I'm ready. Boom. No. Oh, actually, we had the Jinx. That was an eyeball. And oh, you're right. Okay, there. so there's a point there. Extra point for the uh, Banette also being uh, eyeball energy. It's looking like a three point pack to me. Although, presently, would put you, it's an eight cent card. It's an eight cent, eight card. cent card. Wow, unfortunate. How, although, although, early on, still early days, still early still days. Still early days, and you know what? At the moment, Brant, you're in first place. Congratulations. Well done. Wear it with pride. Wear it with pride. It'll probably be over as soon as this pack. I believe the pull rates for this particular set are about one in three to get some sort of full art anything. I love that. So, I love that. That's very exciting. Pokemon Company knows what we want. Yeah, and they've been really upping the art game lately, so really cool. Let's see if our next uh, contestant, Dola, 
can get on the board with something more than three. I can tell you right off the bat, we can see our uh, psych, our eyeball bonus coming into play. But will Dola get the energy? No. Still remains to be seen. We haven't seen any of the chase cards yet either. Okay, there's Zorro, an eyeball. There's an yep. eyeball. Yep. Boom. Boom. The Macha Oh, another one. Oh, the Clefairy, which is, and then the Politoed. Okay, so. Uh, as predicted, Dola jumps into the lead with what has to be a four-point pack. Four-point pack, imagine. but the eyeball energy really coming to her aid on that particular one. Strategic play, you love to see it. You do. So we've gone from a two-point pack to a three-point pack to a four-point pack. Will this be five? For B Grim 13, our defending champion from Astral Radiance. We have some notes on this particular on this particular topic, as long as we're talking about the reigning champion here with B. Grimm, who obviously had an absolutely stellar performance last season. We also have a couple of fun new ways to make the show just that much more interesting. Yeah, more ways you can win. Yes, which is what everybody really wants at the end of the day. Right. Of course, our first place finisher will be awarded an entire Lost Origins booster box. So yes. you'll be receiving one all to yourself, which is almost guaranteed to have at least something strong inside of it there uh, but we have also we also thought that it would be fun for those folks who do sit at the bottom of the leaderboard to have a chance to win something as well so our last place finisher will also receive an elite trainer box yes uh, from the lost origin set as well yes but on top of that in true super carlin gaming fashion we're having a callback here if you finish in eighth place a quality eighth place you will also get an elite trainer box so many exciting new ways to win Ugh, can't wait it's exciting so now even if you're at the bottom of the leaderboard you have something to play for you can almost hope to get bad pulls but in the meantime if you do get a good pulls then at least you got those cards all right reigning champion b grim yeah now if b grim pulls out something big right here i mean people are i mean people are gonna start throwing tomatoes or something i know is that Let's what see. they throw when they're upset is tomatoes I, I feel like that was the thing on the muppets okay yeah okay. i don't okay. know if that's a real thing so we'll pull that we'll do our one, two, three, four. I get. Oh, I can front. feel the eyeball from B Grim. Oh, oh no, it wasn't there. Okay. 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 The here we now. go. The horsey. That's the chase oh, card. There we go. That's one of our our common chase cards. That the is just from, uncommon. Yeah. And oh, oh the mimic you. So it is a um, it is psychic. So it will get the extra point. So for two that. two points for the mimic you. An additional point for the horsey gives three mm. points to the reigning champ. Well done, B. Not Grim. enough for first team for first place though. Which which is currently four. Which is currently four. Currently yeah. four. Currently four. Emerald Phoenix, who has enjoyed some time in first place before themselves, our next contestant on the board. Can you be the first to score an eyeball energy on your pack and take advantage of the type advantage? And whoa, oh. not yet. It's still to come. The Sligu, the Electric, the Swana. Well, there's the jinx. Oh, I do see something shiny back there, Ben. Oh, boy. You can see it coming. The Squavit, that's another one. Oh, and the train. The oh, that is an awesome card. I have opened about five boxes of this set so far and not pulled this at all. Enamorous of you, that's going to be Trainer Gallery 18. And then the Mr. Mime is also the eyeball. So Emerald Phoenix coming in hot again. Very impressive. Very impressive indeed. So two points for the Mr. Mime. Yep. Uh, one we'll for have... the Jinx is three, there's four, plus whatever, and oh, and actually this is actually going to be an extra bone on top as well because oh, yeah. it's psychic. Because it's also psychic, so let's see, TG18, $8.28. Whoa, so that's going to be a nine, ten point card, 14 for Emerald Phoenix to bring them into first place. That is wow. a very, very strong start to the season, Emerald, congratulations. Cards. And a really beautiful looking card, too, it really that Enamorous. Is. That's awesome. Although I think Enamorous in general is one of the most dis liked Pokemon because it is just like, I think everyone's reaction to it was, why? Why does this need to exist? Yeah, that's fair. That's yeah. fair. Next up, crowd favorite, Cartavian McGrath. Yeah. <laughs> Because it just sounds like a, like a, like a main character in a fantasy genre. More like Cardavian. Let's crack on in here and see what we got. I think the guys in the back will have anything to say in this episode. I mean, but you're the one who seems to have like a direct line with them. So well, you tell you know, me. they're in my ear. They're in my yeah. ear. They let me know when when things are the foot. But have they let you know now? <sighs> no, not yet. That's why we didn't hear anything from them. That's why we didn't hear anything from them. Oh, there we go. There's one Ooh. for the eyeball energy. 
And oh, Ooh. the trainer gallery chandelier. There we go. Very nice looking card. And I could think it be a double? I think there's something Ooh. else in there. Oh, and the Drapion V. How about that? Okay, we're going to have to look those up as well. It's obviously at least a three point pack, but probably more. Probably more. The Drapion is an incredible. This was basically printed as a giant uh, screw you to Mew V Max. Because basically, for every Fusion Strike potion Pokemon your opponent has in play, it costs one less energy. Uh, so basically, Mew always has at least four or five in play, so it costs free, and then it hits for 190 times two because it'll hit for weakness, and that'll knock it out every single time. So they were just like, so they were just like, uh, now you suck. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is no longer competitive. Too bad. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Okay, so um, the chandelier is gonna come in at just one dollar. It's a that is a eighty cent oh, card. Oh wow, unfortunate. I know. And then one eighteen. Let's see how that does for us. That's gonna be also an eighty cent card. Man, so not you're not using the roundup to your advantage extremely well in this particular instance. Either so. way, you got two really cool cards in the pack there, uh, Cartavian. So, well done, you're on the board with three. Next up, Matt Cox. What you got, man? What you got for us? We got one, two, three, four from the back. Whoop, whoop. Oh, the fighting energy. It's gonna come up eventually. Porygon, the course of experiment, very competitive card if you're into that. No psychic at all. The Ambipom is one of the chase cards though, and it looks like something is back there. I can see it peeking through. The Aerodactyl V. Oh all man, very right, so we're very gonna look cool. that one up. That yeah, is... there is an Aerodactyl alt art that is the second highest valued card in this set, and yes. it is beautiful. It's really will, cool. If we pull one, I will lose my mind. It's my favorite card in the, in the set. It's a 58 cent Aerodactyl. Oh. So while there is an incredibly valuable one out there. It's this not is, this one. It's not this one. Not on this occasion. However, it is a cool card and headed your way, Matt. Robbie Cruz. Robbie Cruz. All right, Robbie, here's your pack. What's amazing to me about this game is how exciting it is every single time. I know. I know. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, no eyeballs one. yet. Pseudo Udo. Electrike. Love Disc. C dot. And oh, the Hoopa. Hoopa. All right. I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, Robbie, that that is a definite one point pack. Just a one point but pack. But the good news is that means you're in last place. So hey. right now you're in, you're you're lined up for an elite trainer box. But what, you know. what is the opposite of a front runner? What is the opposite the, of a front runner? A back runner? runner? A loser. Oh, no. that's, that's no, sad. That's because sad. you're a winner in this game. And the, exactly, exactly. Exactly. Of course, last place competing for that. Uh, Lost Origins, ETB. That's right, so right now we've got Sammy San 88 next on the board. What do we got for Sammy? Oh, I can already see at least one psychic Pokemon off the top there. Hold on though, we'll make sure see if it's gonna be worth anything extra. Whoop! No, oh, the fire, all right. Thornton, I mean shall later. There's a one point for you. Another okay. point, the Gumi, the Spinarak, and Oh, the Honchkrows. That's probably going to be a three-point three point pack. pack. We we looked ahead of time, and there are a couple of the hollows that are worth um, a, more than a single point, including the Comfy and the Gengar. I think I there's believe. one more as well. Yeah. yeah. So we'll we'll be the on the Sableye. Sableye. That's there the one. Is. I knew I, I knew it started with an S. Tip yeah. of the tongue. Sableye. All right. Who we got next? Next up, we have Stacy. Stacy. And with the flip. Oh my oh, gosh. Still and knowing. It's like it's gonna come. It's gonna happen. I know. It feels like it feels like we cannot be far off at this point. I know. Finneon the Bennett. And the shift ray. Oh. So the Bennett is a rare card, though I believe, right? It is. Yes. That so is. that so, that will, and it's an eyeball energy. So that's so. that's two points plus an additional point for the shift ray. Get you three points on the pack, Stacy. Well done. Well done. Pack coming your way. I mean, it's that. It's no last place finisher. It's no know? last place. A know? contender for a quality eighth place. At though. this point, we should have at least a quality eighth place person, though. I think we're nine people in, so someone's in eighth place right now. I, Congratulations, I can't, whoever you are. Well done. Next up, though, Abby Mondin. Let's see what we got for Abby in here. It seems like per box, there's like typically like the odds are like one secret rare or so. Yeah. So there's always, it always feels like something big's gonna come out eventually. Right, yeah. It's like over the course of an entire box, there's like such strong potential for a really, really fun card to make its right. way out. All right. Can we get the Psychic Weekend? Oh, we did! Okay, oh, so. Oh, Abby Mondin, our first person to take advantage of the type advantage. Uh, this episode, Luminion, not gonna do much for you though. The Mirage Gate. 
Oh, there we go. The Clefairy so is good. Two points for that. Yep. Yep. The Horsey is good. The Shuppet is good. Oh! And a Trainer Gallery Pikachu. That's excellent. So fun. Look at the Pikachu just taking a tiny little snooze. I feel like Abby has a chance to just totally uh, sneak. Oh, and the Volo. I don't actually, actually, I don't know if we looked at the trainers, but that that could be uh, a two-point card. Let's go ahead and check everybody out. So we got, at the very least, for the, the Shuppet and the Clefairy, that'll five be... Five scoring cards. Right. So, yeah, I'm sorry. So the Clefairy, Horsey, Shuppet. Well, that'll be six points right, right. there. We'll check the trainer gallery. Gallery number five for that Pikachu to see how that does for us. Pikachu can be competitive. Four dollars and eighty-six cents. So that's five. Five times two will get you ten. 10 plus these six is sixteen. And then plus the Volo. Forty-one cents. So that'll round up to one times two. Times two. Yep. Plus sixteen is eighteen points for Abby Monitor to put you in first place. Amazing! Congratulations! Excellent use of the eyeball energy to score on five cards in the pack and pulling the mascot trainer gallery Pikachu. Look at that guy. Oh, that's so fun. There is another Pikachu, a Pikachu V that also has a trainer gallery in it. And there's the ever sought after black and gold Pikachu V Max. Dude, Very cool fun. card. Very yes. cool card. So there's a lot of really good Pikachus in the set. Even that really common one is just such good artwork. Um, next up, Afro Punk. Afro Punk. Man. There's your pack there. All right, so we're having some we're having some fireworks early we are, on. Now. Yeah, this this set is already providing a lot more scoring opportunities. It seems like, and the type advantage is working out really well. Give them a lot of psychic Pokemon. Oh, oh two packs in a row! Oh my gosh, another what are the odds? Energy. What are the okay. odds? Let's see how we do here. If there's a place to score, see, yeah, okay, the shop, shop it. it. That'll get two. you two. The Machop. Ooh, the Honchko is rare. So that'll get you two, two there more. as well. And, and the, the Comfy, which actually, this is one of the ones that's worth a little more. Oh my gosh, you're right. Okay, that's actually very exciting. So let's take a quick quick peek to see what the Comfy does for you. Because we do know that this is a, it is a little bit heavier for, um, like a like a non full art yeah, card. Yeah, it is. It's not even holographic, but I think it is worth a lot because Comfy is single handedly changing the entire game right now. It's basically most decks are running what's called the Comfy Engine. Uh, Comfy lets you take two cards off the top of your deck and then put one in the Lost Zone. So people try to do that as many times per turn as they can. Comfy is going to come in at a dollar and ninety six cents, which will round up to two dollars plus an additional point for. Uh, being an eyeball energy right. will so get us to three, three times, times two, two will get us to six, six. eight. Ten points for Afro Punk on what has to doesn't look like a very impressive pack. But that's that I also think is part of what makes the game so much fun right. is that like because there are different ways to sort of like rack up your points, yeah. especially even if some of those ways are the fact that the card itself is very competitive in uh, the TCG circuit at yeah. the moment like can just it can give any card a little extra value it can right there that happened to be a psychic card that paired with our type advantage boom points on the board probably i think good enough for third place at the moment i would imagine so moving up aiden rudinierez longtime patron of the show i already see a horsey in here so it's at least an extra point from that Let's see, can we get three packs in a row with Eyeball? Oh, no, that would have been absolutely That would have been just pure bananas. Madness. Yeah, Lost City, the Dottler, the Seedra. Okay, the Horsey is an extra point. Metatite, Mind Food, Lit Leo. Oh, the Mimikyu. Okay, so this is uh, Type Advantage Plus. It is a rare card, so there's that. And the Malamar, boom. So that's going to be a two, four, five point pack. I Beautiful. Believe, for Aiden. Well done. Well done. Next up. Allison Overkemp. All right, Allison, All right. here's your pack. Allison, I'm feeling good about this pack. Yeah. I don't know about the I don't know what the guys in the back have to say, but me personally, Jay feels good about this. It's pack. got Jay feels. It's got Jay feels coming off of it. If we can get it out of the if pack, we can. there we go. And flip. Oh. oh, water energy. That's okay. That doesn't mean it, that doesn't mean it's a bad pack. We'll see. Glygar, the Gumi, the okay. Mawile. That's okay, a one. So that's a one. The Clefairy okay, is a, a one. Two and the glass core. Oh. Okay, so J Fields aren't worth as much as the guy in the the guys in the back, as it were. As it That's were. That's like a three point pack for Allison Overkemp. Thanks so much for playing. Cards heading to you. Alyssa White. Alright then. Let's see if I can do better for Alyssa than you did for Allison. Well, you were the one that were giving it all the J Fields. Hey man, hey, look. Maybe I, I should have some Ben Fields <laughs> about this <laughs> one. <laughs> Maybe you should. Maybe that's a good thing. We'll find out. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Can we get some psychic? No, double water. That's so weird. In a row here. The E-Electric, the Swana, Gloom. That's the a point there. Point. 
the Murkrow, point for the Malamar, and the Macargo. So apparently neither Jay feels nor or Ben feels are ben worth feels much of anything. That's a three point three points each. So at least our feels are worth the same. That's true, that's yeah. true. Which is not a lot, just the same. Just the same. All right, next up we have Andromeda 192. Andromeda. You know, my favorite part about this game is that it's just fun to open cards. I know, it really is. Like, it does not get old. We've no. opened so many at this point. Like, we're, these aren't even for us. Oh. oh, no. I almost feel like there should be some sort of penalty for the V-Star counter. Yeah, it's I like, know, that's yeah. a minus one. Not only does it hurt your chances of doing well, but we've also <laughs> had it, like, worked against you. Yeah. All right, the, the Clefairy, Clefairy that'll get you good. a point. And the Litwick. Oh, the oh! Raining Gardevoir! I do, think that, I do think that's worth more than one point. I think point. you're right. And, yeah. and it's Psychic, so it would at least get the bonus there point there. Go. And, and the Clefable! Clefable. Wow, all right. Lots of uh, Psychic fun happening here. Yes, so let's see how everything shakes out. Uh, we will get the one point here. The Clefable will be, be worth, worth two. two. So that's a three, and then we'll see what the Gardevoir is worth. It's worth $1.08, which is a good rounding uh, position to be in because right. that'll get you up to two. two plus one for the eyeball energy which puts us at six amazing on the pack in drama a way to pull out some extra points out of seemingly nowhere to, and you know what six puts you pretty high up on the board that's a good at this point it's a good position it feels like for like eighth place yeah that's true thing. that's true you know? especially at the moment at the moment we'll see how the game progresses but I could be wrong as well. The pack, the pack across the board is thickening. There have been more players uh, joining over at super or patreon.com slash supercarlin gaming. Yes. Um, so just be just be aware of that. Actually, on that particular note, uh, the the groupings will be broken up into groups of 25 uh, as we hit as we take over into 50 members, which yeah. we are five I members. Think just four. Four members four away. Off. You are yeah. correct. Four members away. Um, so if we do take over uh, 50 patrons, then we'll actually break it up into two separate episodes. But you will still be competing against each other. Of course. Overall. Yes. Anyway, next up is Annika Merton. I feel like we're getting close to do for another eyeball energy, oh, but no, not there. The, not I feel yet. like from the last round where Dark was the sponsor, I feel like I keep seeing. I know. You'd think it would come up more, but it's, uh, there's the, the shop shop it. it. Yep. That's good. Tynamo, the blip bug, and oh, oh! the rainbow Colrus's experiment. That is a fun looking card. And Colrus is an extremely competitive card right now if you're interested in uh, playing the game itself. Let's see. This is going to be one of the secret rare cards. Right, so that could be our secret rare for the box. Could Let's be. see how it does for us. It does come in at $8.09. Wow, so, so it's a nine point card. Nine point card. Plus the Shuppet is 10 points on the pack. And either way, you get the rainbow Colrus coming to you, which is really awesome. Always, wow. always beautiful. What a really beautiful looking card right there. All right, Ben, this next patron right here actually has a fun announcement to go with it. I bring you guys a brand new game mechanic. Big Steve. Big Steve. Big Steve. If you guys don't know, our friend Steven Sinis is the one who suggested this very game to us, and we went to a lot of effort to make it happen. We loved the idea, and so Big Steve is a patron of the show as well, and we've decided to add another way to win around Big Steve's placement in the game. Basically, if you are the person who finishes directly above Big Steve, you win an eight an elite trainer box. Exactly. So where, wherever <laughs> this is, this is like our it's moving, a moving target. target. Yeah, we have first place, last place, quality eighth place, and now we also have the Big Steve champion, yes. which is going to be the one person who resides one place above Big Steve in the standings. Right. As long that's what you're aiming for. Just beat Steven. Just beat Steven. Yes. Now that doesn't mean Steven can't also win outright, in which case there would be no Big Steve champion. Doesn't mean he can't come in eighth or in last. But we'll see where Big Steve lands. I guarantee what. Man, it would be also the most would, Steven move ever for this to be like a gold Giratina. Or it something. absolutely would be. We we here at Super Carlin Brothers have opened thousands of packs and Steven will go to our local card shop, open one and pull the like the ultimate chase card from the thing. So that said, it's unlikely he takes the lead because he did have the V Star counter in there, so there won't be any energy in okay, here okay. for him to even try and take advantage of the type advantage. But let's see. How are we gonna do? The Squavit gets him a point. Gligar, Phantop, 
Makuhita, and boom, Manectric. Wow, wow. Unfortunately for Steven, that's a solid two-point pack right there. <laughs> two-point pack, but at least this one doesn't even have to go in the mail. We can just physically we hand it to you. We can physically hand it to you. Not a problem. Also, I think there was someone who was at that three-point marker, so we do have a current Big Steve champion. We do, Although, and I think that there was one person who only got one point. So, yeah. like, there is there is it's someone... Still a last point. There, yeah. We have a first place and eighth place, a Big Steve champion, and a last place. All things are in play right All now. All things are in play. All right. Next up, Aerofell. Aerofell. I think what's going to be interesting is that this time we have like a full season. So where you are placed at the end of this episode is only temporary until we open next month's box. Exactly. Right. Exactly. <laughs> lots of lots of opportunities to score. So let's see how we can do here. Oh, the metal. Oh man, I am feeling good about this pack though. <clears throat> oh, I okay. A, I have a strong, I have a strong feeling about it. No canceling cologne in this one. No, I unfortunately, I'm still wearing it though yeah. for for clarity for those of you at home who are, who want like the the full experience. The dark cry and. <laughs> Whoa, the oh! Drapion V-Star! Wow, you had a good feeling about it, and so it was. That is awesome. There we go. Very cool. Okay, so that's going to be number 119 out of 196 on the set. Did anything else in there Nothing score at all? Nothing else hit. Is so, this enough to overtake our current leader? Is it, Would you say it's in contention for that? I, I don't know. I think they'd have to give it like a 20, 20 points or something. It's not. It's a it's a surprisingly low value for oh, a no. V-Star. Coming in at less than $1. No! Drapion V-Star, ultra rare, 119 out of 196 is worth 80 cents. Wow, so unbelievable. Even though you're getting a Drapion V-Star, which is not an uncompetitive card. Oh my um, gosh. Weirdly, that Drapion V we talked about earlier is considered better because it can attack for free, doesn't have to evolve, and knocks out Mew. Really, oh wait, was the Darkrai worth? A star. It was a star. Okay, so this is actually a two-point pack. At no, least it, it's at least two-point pack. But for having such a beautiful full art card like that, uh, either which way, I mean, you can show your friends, then they'll have no idea. Yeah, they'll be like, "Whoa, you won this online! You won, you won the amazing! Let me show you the clip." Yeah, boom. people should do that. You should you should like cut clips of your little thing out and show yes, your friends. You should clip the video. Next up, Beck Squad. All right, Ben. So, <laughs> surprise! You had a good feeling about it. Worth less points than your last good. Feeling. I know. Somehow. I know. I, I'm sorry, guys. I will you're no reading, longer you're have. You're reading I will, the water wrong. Man. I am. I am. I yeah. am. It was like you were fishing in the right spot, but here we go. Ready? Boom! Fire! Oh. Aww. Okay. All right. Let's see. What do we got? Nothing for that. The relicant. The lost vacuum. Inke is worth an extra point. Okay. The Basculinth, Makuhita, Electrike, Fantina. That's only an uncommon, but it looks like something shimmering It does back look there. like there is. Oh. It does look, oh, it, this, oh, this could be it good. Does look, are you ready? Flourish! Ooh, the Kyurem V Full Art! That is a very, very cool card. Also fairly competitive at the moment, and the fact that it's the Full Art, uh, which is going to be the rarest version of this particular card at the moment, means I'm thinking this is going to be worth some, some good solid points. Probably not enough for like first place or anything, but... Okay, yeah, so at coming in at number 174 out of 196, Kyurem. Yeah, Ky Kyurem. Kyurem, I'm never good at the pronunciations, is going to come in at $8.30, rounded up to 9 points. Plus the Inke. Plus the Inke will get you to 10 points on the pack. Bravo. Great start, episode 1, season 2. 10's like a good, it's like a good jumping off point, because if you get another good pull, you're going to be like, Nice and high. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's like if you can get into like the like the twenties, like you're in good competitive range. Of course, there is that outside chance. There is at least one mm. card in this set that is worth over two hundred dollars. Yeah. Meaning two hundred points all in one fell swoop. It's a mad pull. That is a mad pull. That will probably win you the entire season. Next up, Bri Live. Bri Live? Bri. 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 Here Bri? we go. Bri. Reach for the sky is what Bri is probably saying to all of her opponents right now when she's about to pull something absolutely bananas out of this pack. That's true. Oh, oh still it, it, Now, okay. we had two in a row, but not nothing it's, before it's and nothing It's been since. quiet. It's been quiet. We're going to get that. The A-Palm, not the Amba-Palm, the Rosalina, the Gumi, the Manectric is a rare, and the Gengar. Oh, I oh, think the this Gengar. is a good this Gengar, is. though. Okay. Um, okay, so you're going to get at least a point for the man in ah. Manectric. Yes, and um, at least two points for Gengar because it's uh, Psychic and the, uh, the, the star, Rare. The yeah. yeah. So number 66 on our set, though. Let's see here. $1.56 for that Gengar, which okay. will get you up to two points, plus an additional for the for being an eyeball energy. 
three plus the manectric is four points on the pack. Wow, right at the end too. I know, not not yeah. not a bad start though either. That's a, and that's a really cool card. Yeah, I'm gonna be very curious if like if ever someone's at like four or five or six points, we like tick, tipped them over the edge. You know, and the thing is, that's really interesting about it is that beforehand we were looking it up, and there are three just standard hollow cards or regular rares that are worth more than one point. We've pulled two of them so far. Yeah, yeah. So we still have the Sableye we could pull. Right. Which is also another psychic card. I know, so, yeah, there you go. So yeah, it's, it's all a... it's all coming up all coming up eyeballs. Yes. Next up, Chris Ray. Coming up eyeballs. That's coming up eyeballs. That's a disgusting way to say well, it. It's not the best. Oh. Oh man. oh man. We gotta have another eyeball soon. Box, of, box disaster. of disaster. Box of disaster. Hopefully that doesn't describe the whole box. I oh, know, box of disaster. That's, that's like too relatable, <clears throat> isn't it? Yeah. Squabbit, that's a point. Oh, Squabbit. Yeah, there you go. Point for the Squabbit. Oddish. Dust 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 is that a rare? It, it is. is. And the Orb Beetle. So three scoring cards, although all three are just going to be a single point. So three points on the pack there for Chris. And the Hollow Orb Beetle. And the Hollow War Beetle. You know, whenever we, um, whenever we're taking our glamour shots for the the hot pull of each pack, I'm always blown away at just how much I love uh, how the light hits the like, standard hollows. Right. Like there's still something really nice as like the light comes around and it's like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Hey, it still shines. I find that like if they manage to not cut off any of the Pokemon on it, which they are right here on the top, like they really do manage to like look like they're popping off the page a little bit more. It's true, yeah. yeah it's very but, clever the way they go about it. Yeah, but anyway, very cool card. I like War Beetle. One of my favorite Pokemon from the Sword and Shield era. Next up, Johnny. Are you, how, you, how do you feel about Psychic? Good. Oh, oh, we gave it the Ben Fields. I'm sorry, Johnny. That I'm was sorry. My bad. I'm sorry. Yep. You know, Porygon, Lake Acuity, boom. I thought it said okay. Lake Activity. <laughs> lake, <laughs> just Lake Activity, man. Just, you know, like lounging in a tube or something. There you go. With a Haunter. Oh, it's okay. a pretty Haunter. I it like is that. a Psychic, like that. so that's a point, but it's not okay. rare either way. And then the Stone Journer is our rare for that one. So that looks like a two point pack for Johnny on the day. Johnny on the Day sounds like it could be like a TV show. It does. Welcome to Johnny on the Day. Johnny on the Day. Boom. All right, next up is Ekshu. Ekshu. Or e -shu. Hard to say how I wrote that. E. E. I like E. Yeah, E. You know, when I was in high school, I always wanted people to call me Carlin. Yeah. But you existed before me. So and I did. therefore, everybody called you Carlin. You and did. nobody ever called me Carlin. Sorry about that. I know. So if you guys just want to like, you know, be like, oh yeah, that's Carlin. My bud. He opens Pokemon cards for me. I could so just be me, though. That's true, since you're also here. But people will know. The Kingdra. That is a is rare. A, it is a rare, so that'll be a point. And the Landorus. Oh, boy. So it's a couple point <coughs> pack. Not the most Not exciting. Not the best for, uh, for E. For E. <laughs> but the good news is the season is still young. Season Plenty still of opportunity young. to open up more packs, get more rares. And if nothing else, you're in nice competition for last place, which there is also still worth an entire Elite Trainer box. Exactly. Right. Next up, we have Jade Culture. All right. Are you ready? Grass. Grass. Nothing but grass. Oh, grass. Oh, grass, y'all. All right. Let's see what we got. Growl so far, not looking. Oh, I see a little something peeking out back there. Yeah, maybe, a little, little bit maybe. of glimmer, glimmer. No, maybe not. I don't know what I was. Oh, oh, oh but okay. actually, oh, and it's a lost zone something. The Rotom V. It's the first time we've pulled that today, but I'm not thinking it's going to be a super high dollar Rotom. There is an alt art Rotom that is uh, pretty valuable, maybe in like third in the set or so. I believe you are right, although yeah. this is not the case with this one, which this Rotom V comes in at 56 cents, oh, number no. 58 out of 196, so it rounds up to a single point. A single point, oh no! So a full art and only a single point for the pack. Wow. However, still a beautiful card headed right in your direction, Jade. Congratulations. Yeah. And you're in very uh, good competitive uh, positioning for that last for place. For that last place, yes you are. Uh, next up we have Jesse. There's a uh, really good, speaking of Jesse and James, there's a really cool alt arc Galarian Berserker, which I think has like some of the worst odds to pull in the entire set for some reason. Like, it's not particularly good, it's just the one they printed the least. Well, how about that? Sort of, yeah, it's always interesting the way that like you see some of those things shake out where it's like so this is the rarest but nobody really gets why right with well, the jinx is worth the jinx one this will be a point there's riley, riley miles our editor 
How about that? Okay, and the dugong. dugong. There is a deck you can build around the dugong. Is there really? Particular set. Yeah. Okay, well, a two-point pack either which way. All right. For Jesse. For Jesse and the Jinx. All right, next up, everyone's favorite, John Borg. John Borg! John Borg! All right, what do we got for you? John Borg, anything? Anything big? Feeling, uh, feeling lucky? We're gonna find out. I see at least one uh, type advantage Pokemon there in the mall while, but can we get a Psychic! <gasps> Eyeball can. Energy! It is about time. Eyeball Energy is back in play. Nothing there. Medicham, the Misfortune, that's oh, going to be... Oh, there you go. Extra uh, two points. Oh, there's going to be four at least points. four points on the pack. The Porygon, the Snover, and the Ariados. All right, so that's still a six-point pack overall. Very impressive. Very impressive. John Borg always puts on a good show. Here we go. Coming your way, John. Next up Mr. is... Mr. Borg. Jordan Dundur. All right, Jordan. Man, I have done the worst possible job opening this pack. Yeah, you'd think we hadn't opened like five zillion at this point. You know what? I feel like probably, here's my theory. Here's yeah. my theory on this pack. They they like put it under lock and key effectively. Ooh, there is a jinx right there. There is a jinx right there. Like, and when they packed this pack individually by hand, yeah, you know they as they, they do. They knew that this was where it was destined to. Which I is feel why like I did see something sneaking out there. Did you see a little? I think something? I might have seen did a little glimmer on the okay, side okay, there. Okay, We're gonna okay. find out. It's not a psychic. It's not an eyeball energy. Not an eyeball energy. So not yeah. the best start. Ooh, though. Although we do a have haunter. a haunter. That's so a there's, point. there's uh, the two points. <laughs> mm -hmm. With the Jinx. Let's see what else we can do here. The Bronze or the Phalanx. The Rose Red, that's a rare. And. Oh, the Berserker! We so were just talking about we it. We were just talking about it. This isn't, this is obviously not the Alt Art super duper rare one, but uh, it is a V card. Although, I'm, if I had to guess, I'm saying it's probably about a single point. Maybe two. Let's we'll see. see. I could be wrong. Yeah, that's coming in at a single point for uh, us there. So. But it's still a four point pack overall. So. That's not bad. That's not bad. As we've had single point packs today. So, well done to Jordan. Galarian Preserker heading your way. Either way, nice, cool, big, full art card. Next, this, I'm gonna, look, I'm going to say your name right. Are you ready? Jupiter Fox. Last time I forgot the T when I was writing it down, so it was just Jupiter. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Jupiter, I know. And it's like, <coughs> well, it's such a cool surname as Fox anyway. I know. It's like Jupiter Fox. Jupiter Fox. It sounds like a character on a sci fi show. Maybe like a detective of sorts. Yeah. yeah. My name's Fox. Jupiter Fox. It sounds like they're a character on Sparks Nevada. Marshall on Mars. Yeah. yeah <laughs> I can see it. Oh. There's the metal energy. All right. Let's see what Jupiter has. Forest did, Makahita, the Bronze, or the Phalanx, the Polywag, the Oddish, the Electric, that's only uncommon, and uh, the Rhyperior. So, sadly, despite the excellence of name, Jupiter Fox, that's a single point pack, which puts you in contention for last place. It's very important. And it is very important. Very important. I mean, the Elite Trainer boxes are pretty cool. They come with sleeves, they come with like eight packs and dice and stuff, so. There's a lot of cool, yeah, like extra yeah. like goodies that come in. And the boxes themselves are also just kind of pretty. Oh, Ben, another crowd favorite here. It's time for Kimberly Lee. Kimberly Lee. Okay, I'm feeling extremely good about Let's this see one. It. I'm feeling extremely, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna even say that the guys in the back. Oh. They've like, they've like buzzed yeah. in on the earpiece. Okay. Oh, <gasps> what? Ben, how do the guys in the back always know? I don't know how the guys in the back always know, but they do. Eyeball energy. Eyeball energy. Eyeball Kimberly. Energy. Get ready. Amber pump, what's the point? Amber pump, two points. Two points, yep. More like it. Damage pump, lit Leo. Two yeah, more so points. Two more points, okay. So we got four points on the board. We're doing really good so doing far. Good, We're doing Kimberly. really good, Six, Six points. points on the board. Only a common reverse rare. And then, uh oh, it's something. Thornton! Dang! Never heard of him, but nonetheless, <laughs> the guys in the back deliver again. How do they know? How do they know? I don't know. We got the multiplier and four more scoring cards. Let's look up what that Thornton's so, Yeah, we got six points at least just from the, from the, um, yeah. Uh, what am I trying to say here? From the, uh, type advantage. Type advantage and the chase cards. Yes. Okay, so number 195 is going to come in at $5.84, rounds up to six, times two is going to be 12, plus an additional six, 18, 18 points. points. Wow. Guys in the back delivered. They deliver again, and it has to be said, Thornton, 
is a very interesting card. Right now, it is sort of being used a little competitively, but when Ho-O-V comes out in the next set, that is when this guy is about to go bonkers and be like game-breakingly good. So hold your hold your breath. Hold there, on to Kimberly your card. Lee. Keep checking values as yeah. well because our values that we're using today are are static based on current you know TCG prices yeah. uh, as of recording. However, Thornton, prices are always subject to be shifty. Thornton stands to move up in the world once Ho-O is out for sure. Anyway, next up, Lauren Brinsfield. I have really bad handwriting, so I'm sorry if I'm reading your last name wrong. Lauren B. Anyway, I don't feel like... That. This seems like the guys in the bed. Nah, I mean, no. We didn't hear it, could, it, could it even be no. so I mean, we have, I mean, we're off to the water energy there. The Kamala. All right, let's see. What do we got? Follow by Flygar Gumi. The Stunfisk. And the Dark Rye. All right, so that's still going to be... That, that's going to be... A single point. A single one a point. A single point. A single one point pack. But you know, after Kimberly Lee, it was it was going to be hard to like was, step yeah. into the arena and, and and really you know flex your toes as they say. Yeah, but you do get a nice cool looking holographic dark ride there. So. There you go. There's there always go. that. Next up, Lauren Enberg. All right, Lauren. Oh, oh no, the dear. dreaded V star marker. The V star marker. So no oh, opportunity man. for Miles Barkley right there. We got Riles. Okay. Oh, there's a point for the Zoroa, so it's yeah. not a single point. Point for the Ink Egg. Oh my goodness! That is going to be a tremendously good pull. That is the black and gold Pikachu V Max, and there's yet another card behind it, the Polyrath. No one cares about that. That will be a single point. Ben. What is the Pikachu V Max worth? Oh, oh my absolutely goodness! Absolutely uh, lovely card. That is gonna card. be awesome. Look how! Oh my gosh! Honest, this is in. This is very cool. Uh, you get that little Pikachu glow on it. Man, we've pulled this card ourselves as well. It, I mean, it's just as exciting seeing it, it again. It's in our display case. Look at so, that! Yeah. yeah, it's so cool. That's oh. gonna come in at eleven dollars three cents. Uh, all right, rounds so, up to 12. 12, 13, 14, 15. On the pack. Either way, it is a beautiful, awesome looking card for Lauren. Wow, really cool. That is really fun. That's Man. just like a, that, it's just, you just love to see it. Now, we've mentioned the Mew VMAX a few times in this episode, talking about Drapion. There is a Mew VMAX in this set that is in this style, so it's black and purple like this. Man. Next up, Linwood. 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 Very uh, active member in our Discord server, which you'd like to join. Well, you're already in, because <laughs> you've already let's face joined. It, you've already, yeah. Well, if you're, uh, <laughs> if you if you want to become a box breaker, you will also get access to the Discord server, because that's one of the other perks. All right, ready? Bam! The darkness. This feels like there's so many darkness time. Uh, this I know, time I know. It would have been so big last time. Yeah, but well, seems unlikely that we get a no. Oh, 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 and okay. All right, so. Five scoring cards. That's, I mean, that's impre that's good numbers. That's good yeah. numbers. At the very least, it's five points. It's possible the Bennett is worth um, an additional couple points. Yeah, and that is and a psychic. And it is psychic, so, so yeah, it's worth so at see, least so. two. Trainer Gallery number seven. We'll go ahead and take a look at that one there. It's going to come in at 87 cents. So okay. rounds up to one, plus an additional for being an eyeball energy. So that's two, three, four, five, six. Six points. Six points for Linwood. That seems like a solid quality, well, solid quality eighth place contender. Contender? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. What was it? Was that six? Six. Okay, excellent. Six for Linwood. And a nice full art Bennett, either way, with the Phoebe back there. Very cool. All right, next up, Mask Maker. You know what I bet's in this pack? Is a Panic Mask. Do you think so? I think so. You're going to call your shot right I'm now. I'm calling it that there's a Panic Mask in... This pack. Would you be willing to hand out some honorary sacred J points? I, I mean, yeah, if there's a panic max in here, you're definitely getting some J points. They have no value. They right? don't, but you know. there we go. Flourish on the energy, the relicant, the cascoon, the lost vacuum, the C dot, the horse. Oh, that's a point. There you haven't go. seen the horsey in a while. The shell is the stone. Journer is a rare, and oh, the pie roar, which is a really, oh, I love the artwork. It, it's on really this card. beautiful. Really cool. Uh, still only going to be worth a single uh, point there for you, but three points on the pack, and I was wrong, no Panic Masks. So. Oh, so no J points, but that's okay. That's okay. The Panic Mask is a creepy looking card anyway. Whatever. What? Whatever. You don't even want that card. Jeez. 
but it is there. All right, guys, 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 guys. All right, let's have a round of applause for Mots Ferruli, our next patron on the board. Mots, All right, are you Mots. ready? I get to pull for you today, Mots, and I'm excited about Mots it. Mots always brings a lot of energy into the game. Tons you know. of energy into every room he's in. Right. Today. Yeah, we've had some pretty big pulls in the pack so far. We've had our Rainbow Rare. We've had our Gold Pikachu VMAX. Uh, we had our Full Art Kyurem. All right, let's see how we do here. The bronze on. Oh, there's a point okay, for the Mawile. Yep. Oh, the Glastrier. So okay, that's so an that's extra a, point. That's an extra point. And the uh, Cramorant. Oh, I can't. Honestly, this one was the other contender for um, being worth a little bit more. I'm not sure why they didn't even give it the holographic treatment. This card right here is like changing the entire game right now. Like it. it like you have it. It. This and that comb feed we talked about earlier. They work together. Uh, it can attack for free for 110 if you get four cards in the Lost Zone. So, going second, you can normally knock out your opponent's starting Pokemon, like, right away. For non hollow it is worth 95 cents oh, it's for so what it's close. worth. So, like, I mean, it's, it, that's like a hive. It's just not a good rounding card. Yeah, it's bad rounding. But it is still a three-point pack overall for Mots and Cramorant. I love the artwork of the Cramorant one. I know, I mean, yeah. Cramorant is such a derpy-looking Pokemon that it always makes for good artwork. All right, next up is Megan Stevens. Megan. Oh, it was going to be the last pack from this box. Not to worry, you guys. We got more. Yeah, so we're, we're in like, a, like an odd mega episode space at the moment yeah. where once we hit uh, 50 patrons at the Box Breakers tier, we will be splitting up these episodes into 25 patron episodes uh, all the way up until 100 so we, we can get to four episodes per month. Yes. Which is sort of like the ultimate, like, you know, that's, goal. that's the ultimate goal. Yeah. And then of course we will continue to fill in each of those episodes until we get to 36 uh, players in each episode. Right. That's the, that's the ultimate goal. But let's see, can Megan Stevens finish off box number one uh, with a, with a bang? With, with a, bang. a bang. Yeah. Let's see. What do we got? No alt arts in this particular box. No, in this pack. In this pack. You think yeah. so? You know, it could be. It could be. I mean, it certainly could be. I don't feel strongly about it. But I don't either. Yeah. But you never know. Uh, dark again get, with the man. dark man. The haunter though. That's a someone point needs right to there. start keeping like stats on how many of these get pulled. There you go. Yeah, let's just drop it. Porygon, Porygon. And, and the oh. Buffalot. So for Megan, we're gonna have a three-point pack there to finish off box one. But guess what? Now all of the odds basically reset, which is to say they're the exact same as they always are, because that doesn't really change anything. Um, but we're could, opening a new box. We got we got new box energy we coming in. New box in. energy. New box on set. New box on set for Moss Twig. They're gonna get pack number one from box number two. As ever. Ooh. <laughs> right I don't know why we you. put the hoop so far away. It's like twenty <laughs> feet from me. I mean, yeah. I don't You're not even it. close. I'm not even close so far, but that's nope. okay. That's okay. All right. Moss Twig. Moss Twig. What you got for him, Ben? Front pack. Here we go. Last time there was a pack rising up. I know, there was a pack rising Seeking up. Seeking could be chosen. Yes. Give it the flip. Oh, oh eyeball energy out of the gate for Moss Twig. There we go, right out of the gate. So everything's going to be worth two. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, come on now, we need something. Oh, we gotta have something to There's score gotta... on. The Torkoal oh. is not e Oh, it is, a, is it a star? No, it's no, not it's a star. A diamond. Oh, no. so, oh, and oh, oh no, the man. eyeball energy only multiplies the Porygon Z into a two point. Man, that is like the, that is the worst I think that we've seen uh, our, the type, our advantage. type advantage. Yeah, do. that is a real bummer for Moss Twig. It was exciting while it while it lasted, though. It sure was. Um, doesn't matter. You're in a good spot for the um, Big Steve champion. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah. this that's like such a moving target too, though, because like Big Steve could have his own big pull. He could have Big Steve could have big pull, you know. And then who knows what's gonna happen after that. Uh, next up, we have Peabody Coco, aka JP. Out, we're gonna find okay. out. Right. Boo! Oh! oh, double eyeballs, and let's see what we got here. All right, we have the Thornton, oh, the Mike Chow. Yeah, the Thor. Yeah, there's the regular Thornton. In case you're wondering what that looks like, the Gligar. No, oh my gosh, another. Oh, oh no! Two eyeballs in a row, and it only results in two points each. That is a real bummer coming out of the Man. game. Man, I hate to see it, but Peabody, Coco, and Moss Twig both uh, obviously went to the same summer camp of pulling cards, learned the same tricks. I wouldn't go to that camp. <laughs> Next up is 
Russell, man, I wrote your last name so bad. It could be anywhere from Pang. Russell <laughs> Pang. It could also be Dog. Russ Dog. <laughs> Our Dog. Our Dog. <laughs> Russell Pang, I believe, is what it is. I'm sorry, my handwriting is so bad. I can't even read it. Okay, let's see here. One, two, three, four. <laughs> let's see how we can do for you, Russell. I mean, unfortunately, no eyeball energy. Although but it hasn't helped a lot. It hasn't helped a whole lot lately. Let's see here. Let's see. Oh my gosh. What is with what this is, box? This box is a dud. It is. Oh uh, no, the banette. With a Just one a single point. point. Man, this whole box has produced a solid five points thus far. That's really, it's just not, you don't love to see it. You, you don't, don't love, love to, to see, see it. it. You feel bad. Let's see if Simon <laughs> can do a little bit better. Some, you know what? The cards have got to be in here. They have to be. They in have there. to be. We gotta have. There's gotta be at least some good cards in of, this box. And it's it's important to remember as well that the uh, the Pokemon Company doesn't know about our rules that we've invented. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So they're not <laughs> printing according to our specifics. Certain boxes or packs that we've considered great are great only because of our rules. Exactly. All right. Lake Acuity, Carbink, Nuzleaf, Metatite, Squab. Squab. It's a point. There we go. Like our pseudo the horse is Horsey a point, point and yep. the landorus is a point. So <laughs> three point pack. The best pack in the <laughs> box so far. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Someone, all I feel like it is is that this box has a lot of potential energy. That's exactly it. You know? Like they've decided with this particular box what they were thinking was like, okay, <clears throat> nothing's going to be that fun. Who's our next? Who's oh, our next Ben, picture? you know what? This is going to be the one because this is Strange Hamburger. <gasps> strange ham, the strangest. The strangest. Okay, Mr. Strange Hamburger. What's in the meat? You don't ask. You don't. You don't ask. You don't ask. Oh, and right. Uh, we already see the Zoro right there, so we're gonna have at least one bonus point. At in least this one bag. bonus point. Oh boy, let's oh. see. All right, and with the flip. Oh, oh the water. Okay. Okay. Doesn't mean right. anything. Lady. 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 Now know. that's a little lazy. Uh, it does feel like it, doesn't it? Okay, there's a there's point. There's a point on the Zorua. The ma Machop, the Pikachu, Pikachu well, the, 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 the Jinx will give us a point. And the Basque Legion. All right, so it's going to be a three-point pack, it looks like, for Strange Hamburger. Still tied for first place in this in this box. It's that amazing. doesn't do much for it's you. It's amazing to me how much of a like an energy shift there seems to have been from box to box. I know, I it's know. It's like, like the pace changed, everything's a little different, people are kind of still getting their footing. But right. That doesn't mean that there's not still like a, like a grand opportunity for for something wild. To exactly. Come out Let's see if Tempest Blade can truly break the box here and uh, give it give us at least something full art. You know, it doesn't have to be high value. Just uh, just something to look at. Just something to look at. You know, something a little nice. Oh, the water. Something you can put in your binder. Something you can put in your binder. Right. Let's see. The Cedra, the Seal, the Shuppet's a point right there. The Pikachu, the Phantom, the Lickitung. Oh, it's kind of a cool Lickitung. Hey, look at that guy. Own the haunch grow. <laughs> you guys, uh, what is this box? This is no good. This is no good. Boy, it's all just completely random. Though, it is completely random. Yeah. We're, 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 we're fussing because we like to fuss. Because we like to fuss, and we want you guys to have good pulls. But now we're up to Tyler Gillies. All right, Tyler. This feels, <clears throat> this pack feels dense. It does. And I know that in the early days of, of, the, uh, of the pack <clears throat> trade, you could actually weigh your packs and have a very strong uh, indication. Yeah, because the holographic cost just a little bit more grammage. Uh, and so I'm doing nothing but hand weight here. Right. But well, you've handled so many packs. You I know. know. You oh. get a good feel for it. I know. You get a good feel for it. All right. So there's our dark energy. Mm -hmm. Torkoal. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Zorua. That's a uh, point right point. there. Okay. The Inke is a point. Yep. Oh, the Jinx is a point. Oh, the Gengar! Oh my goodness. We cr we finally broken the seal on box number two with the Trainer Gallery Gengar. Oh, and the Magirna. That's okay. So, so nice. five scoring cards. So we have four points across. Um, Across the, the, the rare and the common chase cards are the type advantage. The Gengar is also an eyeball. Uh, eyeball, card, so that's yep. A point. So, so we have a minimum least. of five. Now, the regular holographic Gengar is one of those few cards that actually is worth more than a single point. And now, this is the trainer gallery Gengar, so you'd like to think it's going to be a little bit nicer. It is. It comes in at $5.04. Whoa, oh, good rounding. Yes, yeah, so that'll get you up to six, six plus an additional point for being an eyeball energy. So, seven, plus and then those four. eight, nine, ten, eleven points 11 total points. on the pack. Man, easily. We we needed it. You know, it was that heavy pack. There you go. It was ben the heavy tell, pack. You know, I could just, you know, I could just feel, feel it. it. Yeah. Uh, so Tyler, you get the nice full art Gengar there, uh, the trainer gallery Gengar, and you know what? We have another Tyler on the board. Tyler Seigel. <clears throat> Can we two Tylers back to back? 
Could it be? Could it be? Is that the name? Is that the name of the box? And whoop! The dark. Man! So many dark today. The Gumi, the Porygon, too. That is a rare, so... Oh, the Polyrath. Two-point two pack. So a two-point pack for the other Tyler. It turns out that um, it's not about the name. It's not about the name. It's not about the name. It, it turns out that your name does not affect random odds. Well, it's news to me. <laughs> All right, guys. It's scientifically proven here two today. Two people left. We have Vincent and Yael. All right, Vincent. <clears throat> let's see what we can do for you here. Something big. I want to I wanna end on a good note. On a big note. A big note. You want to be loud. Yeah. You want you want them to hear us on the street. Yeah. Be we'll like, oh my gosh, no way, they did not. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So not a good start. Let's see. There's our Thornton. You mm -hmm. know, we saw him earlier. The Growlithe, the Ducklet, Rock Seal, Seal Violet. That's a rare. So that's at least a point. And the Clefable, Clefable, which will get you Vincent. two points. Gonna get so three total on the three pack. on the pack. All right, and we are now down to our last pack of the episode. For all the proverbial marbles. For all the proverbial marbles. All of the keeps, as we say on the hangouts. For Yael, are you ready? Off the front. Off the front. Oh, oh, okay, so we're not ending on the eyeball energy. Let's see. What do we have for Yael? The Gastrodon. The Lambent. The Gift. A-bomb. Spinarak. Litwick. Roselia. Rock rough, the poly worlds, only uncommon, and the Gudra, the Hisuian Gudra, the holographic. We can double check. I think that's gonna be a single point. I pack, believe so. Unfortunately, we'll... but let's double check and make sure the Gudra doesn't maybe have an extra rounding 30, advantage. It does not. A thirty-four cent pack, or thirty-four uh, cent card, which brings us to a, a one point pack. A one point pack in contention for last place, though. Maybe some people are aiming for that, you know? I, you know what? I mean, we needed to have a way for folks to win even when they lose. Even when they lose. And now there is a way for that. So that's where we are right now. Guys, as a reminder, if you would like to sign up to have your very own pack opened here on Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, then you can do so by heading over to patreon.com slash Gaming and selecting the Box Breakers tier. Right, and if you sign up before the end of September, that is gonna be the cutoff to be included in the October box breaking uh, packs where we are gonna have more Lost Origin action coming at you. All those points will be added to the points we uh found out today. Not to mention we will be continuing to pull from this same very pack so that the odds that have already been sort of like set into motion thanks to this box will continue into our next episode. Yeah, so maybe you think that's good, maybe you think it's bad. We'll find out next time on Box Breakers. Bye!